Hey guys, it's Anthony. Uh, today I'm talking about an alternative to uh, Windows to Mac file sharing. So uh, what I have in this office is I have a couple XP machines, a couple of Windows 7 machines, and a couple of Macs uh, just hanging out. Different people doing different things, obviously. Um, I installed Windows 7 on a it was a $700 HP machine, which is an alternative to spending a couple thousand dollars on a, a, a server. So the XP, uh, the HP machine came with Windows 7 Ultimate. I all I wanted to do was set up one folder and share the entire hard drive. Uh, we we do eBooks, so everybody needs to put all of our EPUB files, our TFs, and and eBook files all on one machine from everybody else's machines, so I can back it up and take a, a movable hard drive with me out of the office every night. Um, so when I installed Windows 7 and shared the folder. I noticed that the uh, Mac was disconnecting all the time. And this is one of our designers, so he's running InDesign files off of our shared server, and it just was driving him crazy, especially because when you lose connection, when you have a file open across the server, um, you know, it corrupts most of the time. And, it, of course, you could copy the, the file locally and, and work locally, but that was kind of a pain in the ass. Uh, I looked all over the place. Uh, apparently, this, this problem is very common with Windows 7 machines and working with uh, Leopard and, and Mac OS. And uh, you're supposed to go into the security preferences and uh, just change the way it's, it's sharing out. And I did every single freaking guide there is out there. I spent two weeks just uh, off and on slamming on trying to fix that issue. And it was constantly disconnecting. And that's when I decided well, maybe we should install Ubuntu. Um, and I didn't have much familiar with it. So I, jumped, I went on the Ubuntu website. I saw that they had a server edition, which is what I've been shakily uh, tape, you know, recording. Um, I downloaded it, threw it on a disk, I mean, and uh, threw it into the server. Um, I installed it. It was uh, maybe 30 minutes to install. I had to format the uh, Windows stuff. Um, it, I had to install a GUI, which is a, a one-line command, and you can just look on Google and, you know, a, 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 you look, search for you know, how to install the GUI um, in an Ubuntu Server Edition. It, it was really easy. Once you do that, you type in Start X, and it runs the GUI, and uh, this is essentially what you're looking at. Let me just throw in this password here. And, uh, I mean, here it is. It's just a simple shared folder. Uh, and I just literally created the folder right away, right-click, uh, sharing options, and, and just shared it. And uh, every machine immediately saw it. There was no compatibility issues whatsoever. So in, in one hour, Ubuntu worked where two weeks of fiddling with Windows 7 didn't. Um, one of the things I was concerned about with, with the Ubuntu Server Edition on this HP machine uh, was being able to recognize all the hardware inside of it. It has an i7 and it has two terabytes uh, of space. For some reason I was thinking maybe since it's Intel, Windows needs to be able to, needs to see this, these, these processors. But um, it turns out it's fine. Uh, you can see all eight processors being recognized. Uh, the i7 is uh, a quad core with hyper threading which makes it see eight cores if you guys don't know anything about that it's pretty cool shit um it's it sees all of the uh disk space all two well two terabytes minus whatever i have on there already uh and it just works uh, seriously it's uh was really really easy if anybody out there is just wants to do a, a, just type of a home server or a small office server for file sharing and Windows is just not cooperating, I would say rip it off, throw in a Ubuntu server, and save yourselves a bunch of headaches. Um, for those of you who don't know much about Ubuntu, it comes with uh, OpenOffice and Firefox and everything should work immediately so you can run the server as a normal machine. Uh, you know, and, and it won't affect anything else. Uh, that's all I wanted to say about how Ubuntu Server is far superior to Windows 7 for file sharing.